when the pastor was preaching, he was preaching right from his heart. You know, I felt the love right there. The, the, he had a passion. But he's, he's really cool, I, you know. He tells you like it is, that, that's what I need. I need that, I don't need the fluff, I need the meat. I don't, I don't need the bones, I don't need the carrots, I don't need, the, you know, I need the meat. He's like, listen, we're all about God here. Hey, how's this? How are you? And he really listened, like, you know what I mean? It wasn't like, yeah, how you doing? And then look away, you know what I mean? I think he teaches the truth compared to other pastors. I love about him that he's very encouraging and he has a passion for the Lord. And he tells the truth. He's so knowledgeable. There is nothing that I ask him. He don't have an answer to give me. Um, He's so intelligent. He's so down to earth. He's a Christ-like person. He's so innocent. He, I can't find words to express because this man is like he's sent from heaven. I, I love Pastor. I do. He's, I look at him like he is my father. Even if it's something that that may seem silly to someone. It's not because it's that important that he knows what's going on in my life so that if I end up in a situation where I need help, that he's my covering and he's going to help me and he's going to say, okay, well, maybe that wasn't, you know, the way that it should have been handled, but it's okay, let's do this. So that there are no secrets. There's, I'm not hiding because that just doesn't allow for that relationship to flow. And I just, I, I respect him so much and I love him so much and I, I want him to be proud of me and I want him to to help me through times where I'm struggling and and I know that, you know, that, that he's there, that he's there for me. And every single time I came to any event, you know, here, it was, oh, hi Lauren, with this huge hug, this huge smile. First time I met the pastor, he was like, Hey, how you doing? You know, talking, listening, pray for me, and all this. And then the next time, you know, he, I told him that I'm looking for a church, but I'm not sure. But the second time I, I talked to him, he was like, "Oh, you know, this is your church, so get over it already." <laughs> and, and, you know, I've been here. You know, it's been cool. Like, see, today, Pastor called me out. He's like, "You know, who don't like attention?" I had raised my hand. He goes, "Oh, so you don't like attention, Nick?" You know what I'm saying? It was like, "See, thanks for the attention." <laughs> Pastor Galvano, and he's a wonderful man, and he's very, truly, truly devoted to the Lord, and that's his passion. And he's very encouraging. <laughs>